Good morning. Today we have a Series 4 missile trial come in to have a snorkel and airbox uh, plumbing installed. And we're going to run through uh, what's required um, to achieve that and how to go about it um, in replacing the factory snorkel with ours, covering up the factory holes, um, etc. So let's make a start, hey? Um, I have already um, undone some of the um, components to make it a little bit easier. Uh, but anyway, if you want to come over and have a look, uh, we've got the factory snorkel, and if you want to come through under the engine bay here, we have the factory Nissan airbox uh, plumbed up to the LS motor. This factory airbox does not flow air. It, it is a very poor design, especially with this motor. So we're going to get rid of all that, and um, it will be a very noticeable gain in drivability straight up. So let's make a start. Okay, I've undone all the nuts and bolts uh, on the snorkel. We can pull it off. You will also find it easier to undo the aerial and pull it out. The aerial goes out from the bottom side. Makes it a lot easier to get to all your nuts and bolts inside and then fit the, the new snorkel. We have three nuts that hold the airbox in. These here, because they protrude into the wheel arch, often get gummed up with dirt, grime, etc. And when you come to undo them, they can be a challenge. A little tip, we've got some inox in a spray bottle here. You can use WD-40, anything like that. We'll give them a squirt. Just let, let it soak in. Give it a few minutes. Grab your spanner, your socket, whatever you've got and undo them. Okay, we'll just pull the factory airbox and intake off. Just pull that out. It looks like there's much holding it in there. Disappointing. Grab a screwdriver, undo your, your intake. A little trick we often do. The last thing you want to do is get any dirt, dust, etc., into your intake. Just throw a rag over it. Don't jam a rag in there. There's too high a risk of you forgetting about it or it falling in or whatnot on certain models of cars. Just throw a rag over it, put the hose clamp around it, and just nip it up. It's better to be safe than sorry. As I was saying earlier, some of the factory snorkel holes or TJM snorkel holes, that variant of snorkel, will not be covered by our template. So the goal is to try and get our template to cover them as best as possible. Now this car here, our template does cover them quite well, as we've seen earlier, but to give you an idea on how to manipulate the template so it will still fit your car, bolt up to the A pillar, and cover the holes, I'll show you how. So I've got a straight edge here. We're going to line up with the outside edge of the gutter here, okay, which also runs down the top edge of the guard. So we'll just tape this on here. Like so. And you can use your sharpie, your pen, to draw your line which runs down from the gutter rail. Okay, so we've got the template that we would supply you. We've cut out the areas it says to cut out and we've left the areas that it says to leave intact. The template does come to suit a Series 3 or Series 4 patrol. The only difference is the flare. Now on the Series 4, which is obviously this car, the flare is cut up very close here. So if this were a Series 3 and you're trying to cover the factory snorkel, you've got your 
line that we've drawn down here. You would slide this here down with that line to cover your holes. Okay? You just slide it up, slide it down. Just keeping in mind that it still should be reasonably parallel along the top of the guard here and should follow that line straight down. If you do that, your snorkel will then still align to the pillar where it should and cover your holes. You don't want to shift it down. So, so if we have a look at this hole here, it's a lot bigger hole than what this template is. You don't want to shift it down too far that you've now got a hole at the top. You're better off leaving the bigger hole at the bottom because it's less noticeable. The pinch weld that we supply to go around the cutout will hide some of that hole. So don't stress if your template doesn't cover the hole fully like this one. Okay, but you don't want to cut into the flare. The template should not be down here, etc. to try and cover a hole. Okay, so I'll take this on here and we'll mark it out. Take the template onto the guard. You can see here the top of our hole on this car is the top of the template. Potentially there is some of the old hole under here and here. Okay, but we don't really want to drop this hole any further otherwise we will be into the flare. So just keep in mind that your edge protector will cover that hole on this on this car in this situation. So let's mark it out. Okay, we've marked out our new hole over top of the factory hole. You will see that the template doesn't cover all of these holes. Don't stress about it. it it'll be fine. But just be mindful, there has been in the past some cars where you will not cover the hole. You will need to replace your guard or get it welded up, repainted, etc. But most times, 90 99% of the time, you will get the template to cover your hole. So don't stress about it, we will make it work. Anyway, we'll get the air hacksaw and make it happen. We've got the hole cut, we'll test fit the snorkel. Uh, a little tip too, we tape up the snorkel, especially the powder coated ones, to eliminate your scratching it while you're test fitting it. So carefully slide it in. Bring the top over. Now straight up, you can see here if you want to come in from the front, the snorkel isn't running parallel to the guard, so the back of the snorkel is sitting out. It fits probably not too bad up around here, and if we come around this side, we can see that our mount isn't sitting all the way down, and underneath the snorkel we've got a bit of a gap. Okay. So because we've manipulated the template slightly to try and cover the, the original holes as best as possible, we've got this issue. So to correct it, to make it fit how we want to, you can see around here, because we have a gap under here, we want to lay the snorkel down in there and we're touching hard up here. So we want to trim a bit more out of here to sink this down into there. So all you have to do is just run the pen and it's always easier to cut out little bits at a time. If you're unsure, it's always easier to cut out little bits at a time and um, test fit it and then go again. So we've marked it, we'll pull it off, recut it and test fit it and see how that goes. Guys, uh, in your kit will come this plate here, which is just a steel template to go in there to cut out the hole or the first hole. I have already cut this one out, but I'll give you the quick rundown on um, what's involved. <coughs> Just bolt it on there with some 6mm bolts. Then using your air hacksaw, you can run it around. So we've got a raw edge 
around here where we've cut, you want to put either some rust prevention paint or some tactile on there. Um, I've given it a blowout. I'll put some paint on there. And where you can't get to, I'll use the tactile. So down in all around your joints and stuff where there's potentially been some steel shavings have gone, they're sitting, you want to rust proof it just to prevent any, uh, any rust occurring later on down the track. Righto, uh, next step before we fit the airbox is you want to, um, if you've got the wide radiator in the Nissan Patrol, you want to stand the radiator up further. You've got a bit of a gap down here, and if you stand the radiator up further, it does give you a little bit more clearance. Uh, just makes it a little bit easier to fit. And we'll drill a new, a new hole in them, which will stand the radiator up to here. These are our two factory holes that bolt in the airbox. One is a slot, the other is a hole. We need to drill that hole out to at least a seven mil hole because we have a six mil bolt going through there. <laughs> Guys, this is how your airbox will come um, assembled. We're gonna sit it in and you've got two bolts down here that will mount into the guard. You've also got one bolt hole up the top here which some models have a hole here, some do not. So you'd sit the box in there, you'd put your two bottom bolts in down here, which are accessed through inside the wheel arch, put them in, nip it up, and then mark your hole here. When you've marked your hole, pull the box out, and we have to drill that hole to fit in another nut cert, okay? Again, we're using some 506 tactile uh, just to rust proof the seal before we do put it on the guard. Uh, last step is fitting the snorkel. Um, the silicon and stainless, etc., plumbing inside the guard has been done. Uh, make sure your hose clamp's on, just going to slide the snorkel in. Uh, and that's it started. We go in. Three bolts in the filler and then nip it all up. Right, just a final recap, guys. Uh, we fitted out the snorkel, uh, powder coated satin finish stainless snorkel. Uh, we've obviously filled or uh, covered the original hole, and it's worked out quite well. Uh, we've also fitted the the four inch high flow air box that we do. Uh, these have a water trap in the bottom of them, so any water that does happen to get inside can um, exit out through the water trap. We've relocated the um, temp sensor into the side of the box, um, and all the plumbing is done. We have just um, trimmed down um, the silicon bands to fit um, as required. Um, don't forget to oil your filter. If you have a oiled gauze filter, it will require oiling when you install it. Um, so that's been done. Um, all the four inch plumbing is inside the guard and we're just waiting for Grant to come pick it up. So thanks for watching guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, look forward